We are building stronger schools together so that every scholar every day is ready for life. On behalf of the uh, Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame and Museum, we're pleased that all of you are here today, and we will also be pleased to display this championship trophy representing the accomplishments of this group back in 1975. Of course, Tyrone is uh, a member of our Hall of Fame, as is Coach Denson. We are very pleased to uh, uh, be able to host this trophy uh, uh, and show it off here to all those that come through the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame. Thank you for uh, uh, bringing this to us. Uh, we'll display it proudly, and I'll turn it back to Tyrone. We got to give uh, thanks to uh, Coach Odell Jenkins, and this, is, this was his vision. This was his vision along with uh, Mr. Bobby Hawthorne. Uh, we were so blessed to uh, have coaches like Coach Denson, who had me in the seventh grade, Coach Bill Bro, Coach Lee. Coach Lee, what, what a fun memories that we have. So Bill and I got to talking about it. He said, man, that team is worthy. And 21 of 22 guys from that team went off to college. I think it was 39 blacks on that team and 35 whites. But we grew up in 1972 watching Roy Stewart, Lonnie Taylor, and Bobby Wallace. And that was a great thing about seven and eighth graders being in school with 11 and 12th graders. To see you guys, man, to watch the way that you guys practice and, uh, you left a lot of uh, legacy with us, and we were able to take it to another level to where we're the last team in Jackson, Mississippi to win a state championship. I've held the trophy when I first uh, wrote about this team. And man, these players, these players, you, the players are talking about you guys who play on that team. Man, it was, it was awesome. The camaraderie that we shared, the brotherhood that we shared, and it was just an awesome story. And, and I went over to the school to, uh, to, to get the trophy, and that's, and I picked the trophy up and never took it back. The school, Callaway itself, Callaway High School was the first school in the state of Mississippi was identified as a school of choice. Black and whites had opportunity to choose to go to school together. I, Callaway was the first school in the state of Mississippi. Players talked about how we came together Black and white, Tyrone mentioned the number of players. We had a assortment uh, about 50-50 black and white players. But this was in 1975, 1975, six years or five years after immigration. And we didn't, and I don't remember any issue from a black and white standpoint. And I say this, I say, I'm not naive. I know racism exists, but we didn't have any issues. If you were a good player, black or white, and we had three white coaches, one black coach, but if you were a great, a good player, and you deserved to start, you were going to start. It wasn't a black or white thing at all. I, I'm just excited to have been a part of such an awesome, awesome team with an awesome group of guys. But this is the championship trophy. As Tyrone said, there's, there's no other team in, in the Jackson, Mississippi that's won a state championship. But, but however, here's another point. There's no other team in the Jackson metro area that's gone undefeated and won a state championship. And this was Callaway in 1975. There was a proclamation that the state legislators presented to Callaway after the 75 championship team. A concurrent resolution commending the Jackson Callaway High School football chargers for their outstanding undefeated 1975 football season. Whereas the Jackson Callaway High School football team won the championship of the capital zone of the big elite eight conference and whereas the Jackson Callaway High School football team won the state championship of the North Mississippi division of the Big Eight Conference and whereas the Jackson Callaway High School football team won the overall championship of the Big Eight Conference and whereas the Jackson Callaway High School squad is rated the number one team in Mississippi by Associated Press and United Press International and whereas this fine group of young athletes completed their season with an astounding record of 12 wins against no losses. The only team ever in the history of the Mississippi High School Activities Association to have this record. And whereas the Jackson Callaway High School football team scored a total of 328 points on offense while allowing only 121 points to be scored against them on defense. And whereas nine members of the Jackson Callaway squad were all big eight conference selections and whereas 11 members of the Jackson Callaway team were selected to the all city team. 
And whereas the Jackson Callaway High School squad ably coached and inspired by head coach Charles Allman, assistant coaches Hill Denson, W.J. Bilbro, and Odell Jenkins has developed a winning and cooperative spirit and a high degree of sportsmanship. And whereas their activities and attitude reflect great credit upon the individual players and their coaches and bring honor to their school, and whereas it is the policy of this legislature to recognize and command excellence, especially when evidenced by the youth of our state who are its future. Therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives of the state of Mississippi, the Senate concurring therein, that we hereby commend and congratulate the Jackson Callaway High School football team and their coaches, Charles Almond, Hill Denson, W.J. Bilbro, and Odell Jenkins for winning the Big 8 Conference and for displaying tireless devotion to their athletic endeavors. Appreciate that. Thank you. Tyrone has been a blessing to me. And all you guys have been, Bobby, uh, Dunn, Clump, uh, Daryl Smith, and all you guys that I have talked to, and, and Slaughter, you mean so much to me now. And, you know, I've been asked a lot of times now. In fact, uh, Rick Cleveland asked me one time. He asked me, all deep, am I all defensive team? And, and if you look around here tonight now, uh, at the all, my all defensive team here was with uh, Slaughter on one end, Stu on at one end, Tyrone and Bobby at the tackle, Daryl, Daryl at, at the nose guard. Gerald Bannis is considered by most folks in Mississippi the best defensive lineman ever played in the state of Mississippi. But uh, we've been blessed. And, and I'm going to tell you something else. We've been blessed to have been around a bunch of good guys. A bunch of good guys. It hasn't been on. In fact, when I spoke to the team uh, first, first ball game this year, I told them they had a whole lot to uphold. You're not only just football. You're all not just football players. Look where you are now. Look what you're doing. We got doctors, lawyers, people who have done well, law enforcement. You, you have done well. You, you, have, you have represented Callaway well. And Skippy, uh, Hill, and I have been friends over the years, Coach Lee, all, all of us. And in fact, when I tell other people from other schools, and they said, not only y'all still good, y'all work together, it's amazing. Y'all friends. Some people don't understand that. We still, we still are good friends. You all are winners, but we appreciate you coming. It's just a good job to see it, see it all come together. Look, I, I would like to say this about Coach Jenkins and the rest of our coaches. Before I knew what a mentor was, these guys was our mentors. These guys have been doing it for, for years, and we thank you for what you have made out of us. When I came to Callaway, there was a principal there named Mr. Smith. There was an assistant principal named Lamar Nesbitt. There was an assistant principal named Mr. Manning. That was the foundation for what you see here today. Besides that point, you could not find a better coaching staff in the United States than Charlie Allman, Skippy Beerbro, Hill Denson, Odell Jenkins, and Bill Lee. I'm telling you, they were the epitome of coaches. So again, you fellas that went all the way to that championship, remember the foundation was set.